Pinching Hugh Grant and his stutteringly pathetic charm is about as appealing to me as closing my scrotum in a DVD case. <laughs> do you, are these real or do you make them up to be especially nasty? Kate Hudson is a dead-eyed trash bag that smells like low tide. <laughs> Greg Kinnear star... <laughs> Greg Kinnear stars in Holy <laughs> Who Gives a <laughs> coming soon. Chris Evans is a stupid bearded sweater wearing dumb dork. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is the Medea of white people. <laughs> Jane Lynch have bigger than Ultimate Warrior. Norman Reedus, I can fit two fists and a leg in my <laughs> Hit me up. Okay. Do it. Tongue punch in the fart box is a neglected phrase. Use it today. Example, Margot Robbie deserves a tongue punch in the fart box. <laughs> Anthony Mackie is probably just angry that he looks like a f***ing art bark. Judd Apatow has completely ruined manhood. Olivia Wilde's forehead is the same size as my left ass cheek. And I weigh 250 pounds. So I'll let you imagine just how big that must be. Paul Rudd is the most boring vanilla dude. You know he just sits at home with his wife having a bland <laughs> spaghetti dinner talking about his day. That's pretty funny. Why does Ryan Gosling always look like he's trying to squeeze a fart out without making any noise? What a gentleman. Has Zac Efron ever been in a film where he didn't play a total douche? I've never seen one of his films. I'm just judging by his face. Oh, how I loathe Nickelback. P.S. you, Wanda Sykes. What's wrong with Nickelback? Russell Crowe is delightfully paradoxical in that he is a huge <laughs> with a small penis. <laughs> Brian Cranston looks like Jim Carrey impersonating Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right, all righty then. I keep forgetting <laughs> that Kiefer Sutherland isn't dead. Well, to whoever wrote this, if it makes you feel better, it's not for a lack of trying. Oh, yeah. And 